Hey, what's going on, Ecom Dominators? Cynthia here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make $100 per day with Outbrain. Now, if you are new to my channel, I always talk about different traffic sources that you guys should go out and learn to drive traffic to your website. Now, this does not only apply to people who are in the e-commerce space, this applies to people who are bloggers, a digital marketers, or you're building a personal brand, or you have your own YouTube channel. Whatever it is, we all need that traffic to our website. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can utilize Outbrain to drive targeted traffic to your website all right guys and if you like content like this don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that I know to make more content just like this alrighty guys now let's get started Alrighty guys, so the first thing that I want to talk about is always expand your traffic sources. You know, on YouTube you can find a lot of different resources on how to run Facebook ads, how to run Instagram ads, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, Google ads, um, Bing ads, but it's no longer called Bing ads, it's now under Microsoft. And now we have Snapchat, Reddit, and the one that I all want to talk about is called Outbrain. Now I realized that not a lot of e-com sellers or e-com gurus out there are actually talking about Outbrain which is such a shame because right now with Outbrain and also Pinterest I'm getting very low CP um, C and it is actually a very very great place to drive that targeted traffic and I'll be showing you in just a minute over the shoulder how you can target certain interest groups that are inside of your niche to drive that traffic that you need all right guys and before I move on I just want to talk about the rule of thumb when you guys are thinking about driving traffic to your website is if you can get a positive ROAS or return on ad spend do them all because if you are paying say fifty dollars to run an ad and you're making even just sixty dollars back from that fifty dollars I would run that ad all day long because a ten dollar profit is still profit but how do you make more you just simply scale up the ads alright so um, in the channel I always talk about different traffic sources because you know never depend on one um, sometimes when certain platforms get way too expensive people naturally go to other places to find um, places where they can get cheaper clicks cheaper traffic alright guys so what exactly is Outbrain now Outbrain is considered a native ad network and basically it is an ad platform where you can place your ads on high traffic websites like CNN slate Fox News time magazines there's all of these websites that get high number of traffic every single day and so what we are going to do is that we are going to place our ads on these websites to get eyeballs on our website and this is basically called traffic arbitrage and if you've never heard of traffic arbitrage it basically means that we are sending traffic from other people's websites to our website all right and also with Outbrain it is not the first of its kind there are other websites just like it like Rev Content, Tabula, Yahoo um, but in my opinion Outbrain is by far the best um, because a lot of their ads are very regulated and you can get actually very very targeted um, traffic to your website which I'll be showing you in a tutorial later on in this video how you can target certain interest groups that are inside of your niche so that way you ensure that um, you are sending quality and qualified traffic to your website alright so this will work for any type of business as I mentioned before so whether you own an e-com store affiliate marketing you have a blog you own a YouTube channel you're doing digital marketing personal branding whatever it is if you're doing anything online you definitely need traffic and so with Outbrain you can actually um, run ads and get those people who didn't know who you are before to get to kind of know your brand or get to know your product 
All right. And also, I get a lot, a lot of requests and comments about saying, you know, Cynthia, Facebook ads are getting way too expensive. You know, people are now looking for cheaper alternatives to Facebook ads. Um, right now, for me personally, I'm getting cheaper CPCs on uh, Pinterest and Outbrain. And on Outbrain, you can get good targeted sources of traffic so you guys don't always have to stick with Facebook um, now I do believe that Facebook is one of the best um, traffic sources because they have such um, a big ton of data where they can go out there and find you the best type of audience to your website but that does not mean that you just can you just limit yourself to Facebook um, but go out there and test out different traffic sources all right so how exactly is your ad advertised? Um, it's They go on places mainly like blogs and news websites. Now it is less targeting options as you will see when I go over the shoulder than Facebook, but nonetheless you can still um, put your ad out there. All right, so it will look something like this, but right now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be hopping over and showing you how your ads would look like on these websites. All right guys, so let's hop on over. Alrighty guys, so right now I am on the website slate.com and if I scroll down on this website as you can see they have tons and tons of articles and a lot of traffic comes to this website every single day but as you can see if I scroll all the way down I will get to see these ads and as you can see right next to it says sponsored. This is actually where all of your ads will be placed when you're using Outbrain. It'll be placed on websites like this. So your ads would be like placed at the bottom. So all the ones that you see sponsored would be how your ads would appear. All right guys. So just kind of a quick overview on how your ads will look like. All right guys. So let's hop on back. Alrighty guys, so we are back here and so I'm going to give you a an overview on how this process works or how I am actually utilizing Outbrain to drive traffic to my website and you know promote whatever you want to promote like if you're promoting a product a digital product your own brand whatever it is that your main primary business is that is what you're going to be doing with Outbrain so first things first you want to register an account with them it's free to sign up um, but it's very easy you just have to sign up with Outbrain and then what you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating an ad which I'll be going over in just a minute um, that you want to be placed at the bottom of these news article websites and then what happens is you want to do one of two things all right so you can either send that traffic to a blog so you can host a blog if you have an e-commerce store you can have a blog on Shopify or you can have your blog hosted on places like WordPress and drive traffic there or the other option is to create an opt-in page using a landing page that you can create on websites like ClickFunnels where you can collect their email address and then send them to wherever you want to send them. Now, why do I do it in this way as opposed to sending them directly to the product? Because with Outbrain, from what I've tested is, Outbrain is more geared towards people who wants to read articles and sometimes people don't purchase the first time they see a product so in order to build up that trust and get that warm traffic we want to send them more to a blog where they'll read about your product or they'll read about the subject that they're interested in so say for an example um, you are in the dog niche you can create an ad saying you know the top 10 best uh, dog t-shirts and then you could uh, create a blog about it and then link those t-shirts to your store or you can talk more about a general topic um, say top 10 dog training tips Okay, so in that case, we're not actually selling a product. We're actually trying to build that trust with our customers and then actually sending them to our product. Now for the uh, this other option, if you want to send them to an opt-in page, we're not actually providing any value, but instead we can just say, you know, 
you could enter in your email address and get a free ebook that way um, they get something for free and in return we get their email address which will be your biggest asset because now you own their email address you can send them whatever you want without paying any type of ads cost okay and so what happens if you're gonna do one of these you're then gonna redirect that traffic to your actual product or an affiliate offer or your YouTube video or whatever it is that you actually want to promote so it takes a little bit of work but from what I found that this converts better than if you were to send that traffic directly to your products directly to your affiliate offer directly to whatever you want to sell them all right because this one helps us build trust and this one helps us keep in touch with our visitors and hopefully um, convert them as a customer so after that if you, once you send them to your product page say it's a t-shirt and you can get paid if they purchase your product all right so you know as I mentioned before why not link it directly go to Outbrain send them to an ad to your product right you know um, this is what separates an experienced marketer with someone who's a total newbie people sometimes say you know Cynthia Facebook ads don't work Instagram ads don't work Pinterest ads doesn't work and they might even tell me that Outbrain ad doesn't work because they do it in this way they simply make quick ad and they don't do any of the work in between here and they simply just send them to the product hoping people would buy all right because number one like I said before people don't buy the first time they see the product and sometimes people need to read a little bit more information before they buy so that's when the blog comes in so this is how I would structure um, it like this as opposed to this alright so what I'm gonna be doing is hopping over to Outbrain and showing you how I create my ad on Outbrain alright guys so let's hop on over Alrighty guys, so right now I am on Outbrain and like I said before, it's free to sign up. Just go ahead and register for your account. Once you get your account, you want to come over here and click on Ad Campaign. And we're just going to let it load. And when you see the layout of um, Outbrain's you know, ad platform, it's very, very similar to Facebook. You get to create your own interest targeting. You get to create... Um, your own uh, location age things like that so we are going to be taking a look at this one so just trying to wait for it to load already guys so now that it finally loaded um, we are going to first name our campaign so in this case I'm going to do a quick tutorial on uh, dog potty training so I'm say you know dog potty training um, example okay so the first thing that they have us customized is the bidding strategy meaning how much you want to do cost per click now over here if you hover over this um, basically they'll explain what a cost per click is and they will suggest a um, CPC for you now as you can see on the screen they suggest anywhere from between uh, 52 cents to $1.74 now for me I always just start at 10 cents because even though that it's not recommended it'll still run even at 10 cents and so I found that that's my sweet spot so I would start 10 cents because if I start at you know 50 cents or a dollar it can get very expensive okay so the next thing they want to have you do is budget type now in order to run an ad on Outbrain you need a minimum budget of twenty dollars and so I'm gonna go over here and type in twenty dollars per day now some people might be asking me Cynthia should I try 30 50 or maybe even a hundred um, I would actually just stick to 20 because um, with Outbrain you kind of never know and you want to minimize the risk and so I would just stick to my budget as 20 and so you can select your start date I'm just gonna leave it like this your start time I like to start it at midnight 
and then location. Now for location, it's really to your preference um, depending on the type of audience you want to send it to. But for me, for the location, I always put the top five English speaking countries. And so that would include the United States, UK, Canada, New Zealand, Australia. So I can go ahead and type those in. All right, so I just type all of these in and over here, it's very similar to Facebook. They're gonna show you um, what is your potential reach based on your audience. So we have not done our interest targeting, but just um, doing our location, we have bought the size down. Now, this is the part where it's very similar to Facebook where we'll do our interest targeting. Now, with Outbrain, it's very different because they only have interests or attributes. And so if we come on over here, um, there have a lot of different categories. So autos, business, electronic, entertainment, health, recreation, sports, travel. And so it's a very limited category. And if say you cannot find your niche in here, just find the ones that is more similar to your niche. Okay. So in this case, since I am in the dog niche, I can go ahead and find things that are uh, close to what I'm doing so I can come over to attributes and see if I can find see lifestyle and under lifestyle I see this one it says pet lover I can target people that love pets okay and then as you can see my target audience is about 460 Okay. Now can you can come over here and add more and of course this was this will go up but in this purpose of this training I'm just going to keep it at this one. All right. So then over here they're going to show you which placements that you want. You want to go on the phone or uh, the desktop. I just leave it at all. That's totally fine. And then of course over here you have to set up your pixel so very similar to the Facebook pixel. Just go ahead and set it up and I'm just going to go ahead and click next. Now this is the part where um, we're going to type in our URL that we want to send our customers to. So in this case, I want to send my customers uh, to a landing page where I can give away a free ebook in return for their email address. So let me uh, pull it up. Alrighty guys, this is the funnel um, that I created in a different video. And this is the funnel where people can actually enter in their name, their email address, and get a copy of this ebook. So if you want to learn how I did this um, funnel, go ahead and watch the video that I did previously. Or you can sign up for my free ClickFunnels training to see how you can build your own funnel. But basically, you can go ahead and copy this link. And I'm going to come back over here. And I can paste in the link that I want. Um, to send my customers to. All right, so here it is. So you have the option between URL or RSS. RSS is basically if you have a blog, you can link it that way, but in this case, I'm just gonna do a URL. Okay. And I'm gonna say add content. Now this over here is very similar to the ad creative um, section on Facebook where you actually get to create the title, um, put in your image, whatever it is. And so right now I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image. Alrighty guys, so I just uploaded an image. Now you can find these images um, on either Pixabay, Pexels, or any other royalty free websites. And then once you upload it, you can go ahead and apply or you can resize it if you want all right so they're going to give you a preview on how it's going to look like on um, the actual ad when they place it on the website all right so you can go ahead and actually um, replace this so you can i'll just say you know hey dog owner do you want an easy way to potty 
train your dog. All right. And you can write anything you want. You can um, resize the image, things like that. All right, guys. So after you have created your ad copy, all you have to do is click this button to launch your campaign. They're going to review it and um, and then they're going to start spending your budget and start advertising it. All right. And so you can actually monitor all of your conversions and your clicks um, easily on this uh, website. So what we're going to do is right now we're going to be hopping back. Alrighty guys, so now we are back here and before I end this video, I also want to touch on what are some of the best practices when you are running an ad on Outbrain. And here are some of the recommended ad dimensions that I recommend that you resize your image before you upload because sometimes if it's different that some of it can get cut off and it wouldn't look right. So you can actually adjust this on you know Photoshop or whatever you want but try to keep your image at 1200 by 800 pixel that way it'll fit perfectly into the ad. Also as I as you saw me um, uh, create the CPC I started with 10 cents um, now you can go higher if you want but I just feel like it's a little bit more expensive even if you start at 10 cents uh, cost per click your ad will still run so the next thing is location targeting again I do the top five English speaking countries but for whatever reason um, you don't want to target say people in Australia or people in Canada you can just target people in the United States that's 100 percent okay so the next thing is don't forget you do need a minimum budget of twenty dollars per day you cannot go lower than that or else it won't run but I also recommend to not go higher than $20. Um, it can be a little bit more risky when you're doing $30, $40, $50, all right? So also try to create your campaigns on different days of the week um, and just see which one performs better. Now, in my experience, when I'm running these campaigns, certain days do work better for me and um, it, but it kind of depends on your niche and it's something that you just have to test it out yourself. But, you know, don't always say launch your ads on Mondays. Maybe switch it to Fridays. All right. And next thing is use photos with actual people in it. I find that whenever you are um, running an ad, people relate to the person that they see. Okay, so try to do that if that is applicable to your niche, but in this case, if say your niche is a cat or a dog or a type of animal, I would just stick with an animal, but go with a close-up rather than a, you know, a photo where the animal is just all the way in the back, you can barely make it out. Okay, make sure that it's close-up and that the person looking at knows exactly what's going on, knows exactly what where they will be going once they click on your ad. All right. So the next thing is crafting your headline. A lot of people um, underestimate um, when they're trying to type in their headline. So here are some of the tips that I recommend when you're trying to think of what to type for your headline. So number one, use a question because with questions, you will get a higher uh, click through rate because you are um, kind of creating this curiosity, you know, huh, do I really, you know, what is an easy way to potty train my dog? You know, I'm curious. That's why I'm going to click on it, right? So also when you're crafting your headline, keep it interesting, okay? Um, you know, nobody is going to click on a boring headline, which they think that they already know the answer to. Also, you want to input your target audience in the headline because you want to make the person looking at your ad feel like you are talking directly to them instead of um, to the general public, all right? And also focus more on pain points if possible. This is something that I talked about before, um, even with Pinterest, when you're creating a post or a pin, you definitely want to focus on what people are struggling on. Hit the pain point. Um, because at the end of the day, we are trying to solve someone's problem, right? People don't want to buy a drill. People want a hole in the wall, okay? So definitely focus more on 
providing a solution to the problem instead of providing them with your product. All right. So as you saw from my example, I would structure my headline to look something like this. You know, hey, dog owner. In this case, this is where I um, input my target audience here. So if the person that likes dogs, I am directly speaking to them when I say, hey, dog owner, okay? Automatically, they relate to my post. Now, here's the part where I use the question. I say, you know, want to know a quick and easy way to potty train your dog? You know, people are curious about that. People want to know, is there, you know, an easier way to train their dog? Okay, and I also focus on a pain point, you know, people uh, don't want to have to wait, you know, weeks or months to um, teach their dog to, um, you know, not pee in the house, pee outside, things like that. So you want to try to encompass as many of these um, uh, things that I just talked about, you know, the question, keeping it interesting, uh, input your target audience, things like that. So, also, if you guys need help building out a landing page, if you guys do want to send them to a website where you can collect their email addresses, I would think that that will be better for the bang of your buck if you do want to advertise on Outbrain because if you're sending them to a blog, that's great, but you're sort of not getting their email address, not staying in contact with them. Um, when you send them to a blog. Now, of course, you can run retargeting ads. That's great, but you could run retargeting ads sending them to a landing page, but definitely, at the end of the day, I would prefer collecting that email address at the end of the day, okay? So, if you wanna learn how to create a landing page, I have an entire training on that. Um, I'll have my free Click Funnels course, which I'll show you exactly how to create your own funnel. You can even, um, swipe my exact opt-in funnel inside of the course. So if you want access to that course, I'll have the link in the description. Also, inside of that course, I'll show you exactly how to set up your account and actually build a funnel. A lot of people get bogged down on how to set up the account. There's a lot of logistics, and I'll show you step-by-step um, kind of how to set it up, things like that. All right, guys. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys in the next one.